us a minute. Watch, I'm, 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 I'm trying to prove it to you right now. Some of you all have preached a sermon this morning. You may have preached it to your child. You may have preached it to your husband. But somebody has preached this morning. What was the name of your sermon? Sister Sam, cut that light off. Uh, 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 is that TV in there watching itself? Uh, uh, somebody heard a sermon that said, you're going to miss me when I'm gone. But we preach to our children all the time. And it is because of the love and the passion. You see, when folk care enough about you, uh, they, they'll say something to you. And we, we've gotten to where parents are now afraid of their children. I know it at other churches. And, 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 and they see things and they muffle their mouth to keep peace in the house. I, I didn't know what peace was when I grew up. Because if daddy thunk it, he said it. And it came out as raw as he thought about it. Because he was ministering to us. And, 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 and everyone, you may not wear a priest collar. You may not have a robe with the three stripes on it. But every one of us are ministering. And watch this. Your life only tells one of two things. Your ministry to others is a ministry that looks at you and says, this is either what I want to be like or what I don't want to be like. Y'all will kiss that after a while. The only two things, when, when your life is ministered to others, they can either look at you and get from your ministry of things not to do. And other people can look at your life and say, I want to be just like that. And so in this, this, this ministry of the unusual, we've gotten that out the way. We understand that we are all ministers. Every one of us, man, woman, boy, girl, we're all ministers. But then it's the ministry of the unusual. And, and, and Isaiah was trying to tell us that if you're ever going to learn God, you got to learn supernatural stuff. You, you see, God works through signs and he works through wonders that you just can't see him in the natural eye. Right. And, and so God, God in his intimate wisdom uh, uh, allows us to understand that as he is making us minister our lives are let your little light shine. Right. So men will see your good works. And glorify the Father in heaven. We, we, we serve an unusual God. So unusual that he was, it was unusual in his birth. Born of a woman who had never been touched by a man. An unusual birth. His life was unusual. Right before we get to this text here in the 14th verse, he says a prayer. And let me clear this up. He said the Lord's Prayer, but if you look at the dialogue, he wasn't praying this prayer himself. You see, the Lord didn't have no debt. He didn't have to be forgiven for no debt. And so therefore, he was simply instructing us how to pray. He did Somebody here this morning has experienced. 
and it come from this unusual God. Yeah. Are you with me this morning? Yeah. His, his commands, so unusual. You know God does something crazy like tell you go love your enemies. Do good to those who despise you. An unusual request. His love was unusual. He said, while we were yet sinners, God died for the ungodly. Scarcely would a righteous man die, but, but, but he died for those who, who were sinners. That's an unusual love. His love was unconditional. Unusual. I, I, I tell you, church, I tell you, we, we serve an unusual God. And here in the text it says that the Lord, after feeding these people and he sent the disciples away. And you know what? When you know what God can do. Watch this. He sent the disciples away. He told them to get in a boat. Go out there and I'll meet you on the other side. And then the text says he went by himself and prayed. Yeah. First thing I want to leave in your pouch this morning yeah. is that there are some times you need to put everybody out of the house yes. and spend some time with God. He saw the 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 the, the attitudes of his disciples. Man, we, we got something going and, uh, and, and sometimes when God allows you to bless somebody, he makes you leave so your head don't get big. Yeah. Yeah, right. Help your church, folks. Right. And sometimes if we stay too long, folk will tell you you're sung too good. Right. Right. If, 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 if you hang around too long, they'll gloat over how well you preach this morning. But every now and then, it says that you got to steal away. Let me give you a practical, write this down, write this down, take this with you. Let me, let me give you a formula this, this morning. Jesus shows it in the text. Private time with God equals public power. Amen. Say it, church. Private time with God Amen. equals public power. Amen. Anytime you want to do something great, you spend some private time with God. Yeah. Before you go on that next job interview, Spend some private time with God. Yeah, yeah. You walk in telling them where your death is. All right. <laughs> because you've already spoken to the master. Right. Yeah. The next time you buy another car, spend some private time with God. Right. When you walk on the car lot, you tell him what you're going to pay and how much you're going to pay down. And God, if it's for you, will make it available. Right. Private time with God. There, there, notice he, 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 he left disciple. He left his homeboy. He said, no, I need to be by myself. Ever there been times in your life the way you didn't want to talk to Ethel on the phone? There, there had to be times in your life the way you wanted to put the texting down and just have you a little talk with Jesus. And tell him all about your struggles. It says here he Sent the disciples away. And, and you know, and, and, and there's, there's something else you ought to understand. These 12 disciples were obedient to what Jesus had told them to do. And yet they still got in a storm. There's somebody this morning, you're paying your time. You're showing up on, on time. You're being faithful in your engagement. But you're still in the storm. And, and, and somebody's wondering, Lord, 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 I don't bother anybody. And yet I see folk that are more hellish than hell itself. They are not having any problems at all. I decided to give Jesus my, 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 my heart. And now I'm following Jesus' instruction. I'm doing what he told me to do. And here I am in a storm. Yeah. Is there anybody here today yeah. that will understand this ministry of the unusual? Yeah. It says, now Jesus here, he's in the mountains. He's up here praying by himself. 
But his disciples are on the boat in a storm. It looks like sometimes Jesus will send you on a venture. And it turns around, Billy, and it looks like you'll be all by yourself. But now I'm understanding what my big mama used to say when she said, He may not come when you want him, y'all. But he's always on time. And you ought not be flabbergasted at the fact that Jesus can be in a mountain and the disciples can be in a boat and that he can hear their cry. Somebody ought to shout right now about it. Why are you saying that he heard my feeble cry and he's not with you? It's because Jesus knows where you are in your situation. Fellow was praying the other day.